Oftentimes, when damaging storms move into an area, scammers aren't too far behind. Now the warning is out for homeowners. In the aftermath of a storm, be careful who you trust. Fox 28 News reporter Jason Hackett is here with tonight's Connects Against Crime report. Jason? Yeah, Scott, earlier this week, an elderly woman in Shellsburg was convinced to pay nearly $8,000 for electrical work that was supposed, supposedly needed at her home. It turns out that was a scam. Police and the Better Business Bureau say there are very simple things to look out for so you aren't the next victim. You see it often in the aftermath of a disaster. It's a phenomenon we like to call Iowa nice. The softball girls, Jefferson softball girls, came to the rescue. It's that good-natured spirit, that willingness to help, but it can also backfire. A lot of times Iowans are very accepting of people and they don't believe that somebody's going to uh, take them for granted. So the next time a contractor shows up at your door offering his or her assistance, keep these 10 things in mind. First, right off the bat, ask for proof of license. Make sure that uh, they're licensed in the area that they're doing the work in. If that person shows up offering tree removal or roof repair, don't hire them. Many fraud cases involve door-to-door -door roofers. Thirdly, check their vehicle for a business name and phone number. If you do proceed with work, remember number four, don't pay for the job in advance. Somebody comes in and says, hey, I can only do this work if you pay me 100% up front. That's not a good thing. Which leads us to number five, resist those high pressure sales tactics. Too good to be true is often exactly that. Number six, get several quotes and insist payments be made to a company, not an individual. Number seven, don't forget that contract. A legitimate contractor is going to number one, offer you a contract that you can read uh, and sign. Number eight, beware of price gouging, which happens often in the aftermath of a storm. Number nine, an important one, if possible, pay with your credit card. You find out later that the work done was shoddy or there was no work done at all, you can contact the credit card company and they will actually fight for you or, or reverse those charges. But you could avoid that altogether with tip number 10. Before you say yes to anything, do your research with the BBB to make sure your contractor checks out. We'll have a link to these tips on our website, fox28iowa.com. Jason Hackett, Fox 28 News.